Good morning class, you are welcome to the class today. Okay, so today we are going to start a new chapter. So we are going to talk about moments of forces. Okay, by the end of this class, you will know the definition of the moment of forces. And then you will know the application, you will know how to calculate the moment of a force about a point and then you will also know the sign of different moments according to the position of the line of you know the action of a force about the point O. Okay let's start. By definition the moment of a force F about a point O is defined by the moment will be equal to the force time d. So the question is, what will be the value of d? So you have to know that d is the perpendicular distance from the point O, okay, from the point O to the line of action of a force. So here we see the line of action of a force. Here we have the point d. So the distance of you know the line of the action to the point O is D here. So how can we calculate this value? Okay, so we are going to start how to calculate this value. So here you see that we have a, a rectangular triangle. Okay, here, here we have a rectangle here. So by definition of sine alpha that is you know d over a okay so d will be equal to a sine alpha okay so we are going to now use the definition of the moment we know that the moment okay that is F time D, but the value of D is here, so that is time A sine alpha. So we are done with the definition of, you know, of, we are done with the value of the moment of this force, you know, from the distance of O here or we are done with you know the value of the moment of this force from the point O here okay is this clear if you have any question you will know you will ask after the class no problem okay now let's start to see you know the different sign that a moment can have if, for example, here we have a point A, then here we have a distance D, and here we have the force F. We know that here the sense of you know the direction of the force is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. So when you know the direction is anti-clockwise, so here the moment will be positive when the direction of a force is clockwise the moment is negative but when the force go through the point A it means that the distance is zero so here the moment will be zero. So we are done for this lesson. If you have any question, let me know. Otherwise, we will see each other for another lesson. Thank you for watching and see you next time for another problem or exercise. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like it 
and to share too with your friends. See you and bye bye.